Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody or X Code A. How's it going today? Hope everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from, inside or outside of the United States. I always love to know. So today's life story commentary takes place back when I was in high school, like a lot of my life stories. This was back when I really wasn't caring about going to school. I'd ride in right before lunch, get the lunch, then leave and skip the rest of the day. Is, you know, the lunch was decent. I know that Michelle Obama completely ruined school lunches altogether when I was in high school, actually around this time. She took away the bacon, all right? It's not very nice. But my school actually had a decent selection of food. It had a bunch of different lines, a bunch of different options. I'd get like a chicken wrap every day. It was like Subway. It's awesome. So I cruise on into the school. It's about lunchtime. I'm walking to go get my food. I see a bunch of my friends in a group and they're all just like looking around like they're, they're They got the scheming eyes on, like they've got this master plan. They walk up to me all sketchy like, yo, yo, Cody, Cody. Do you, want to, do you want to go smoke, dude? We got we got a joint, dude. It's some crazy medical weed. You know, medical weed back then, unheard of. Okay, this was unheard of. I think this was probably like 2013. So like the chances of getting medical weed on the East Coast, very slim. And I sat there and thought to myself, damn, this, this sounds like an amazing time. And I'm looking down at my food and I'm like, damn. I'm really hungry right now. So then I asked them, I'm like, so so where are we gonna go smoke this? We're gonna we're gonna go across the street to the normal spot. And they're like, no, no, no. We're going to go to the secret bench, this this really far off bench. Like my school has a giant football field in the back of it. And behind the football field, there's another football field. And in between these two football fields, there's this little kind of path that goes through the woods that connects them. And in between this path, there's like this wooded area where it's just like kind of like a stream. And I think the high schooler, or the seniors a couple years back brought one of the be the bleachers one of the benches and put it inside of one of the wooded areas so you can just kind of sit on it and the stream would go underneath your feet it's really cool they were telling me all about this secret bench this secret spot it was like foolproof man they used to go back there all the time to smoke and i'm sitting there like ah you know smoking a whole joint on school property ah i see i just don't know because trust me, I would always be down to leave and go smoke and then come back with nothing on me. No problem at all. This was about the time that my school got hip. This was about the time that my school caught on to all the jabroniness that we used to do. All of the shenanigans. And they were cracking down hard. They weren't having any of it, man. I was like, you know, I think I'm going to pass on this. This was like one of the only times that I ever passed on this ever i just had this weird feeling about it you know like it was just there was like five kids they all look sketchy all had long ass hair like me dressed in you know those the classic you know rasta bob marley shirts with the rasta belts and you know every the baggy pants just the standard high school stoner look like the exact kind of kid that would buy a gram for 20 bucks and it took me a minute to decide too because it was my homie that was asking me if i wanted to go smoke this medical weed and i was i was like so excited, but at the same time, like, scared to go do it. So I went and ate my lunch, all normal and everything. Went across the street, smoked a cigarette, came back. My my everyday normal routine. Didn't get caught this time. Like I said, this was when they were cracking down. So they'd have the security guard chilling at the corner, waiting for people to come back on the crosswalk to go, that were going to go smoke cigarettes like I did. Every time we'd come back, hey, hey, every time. This time, scotch-free. But there is a reason. They were busy, and I'll tell you why. So I walk back, and I'm walking up the stairs, and I walk past one of the assistant principal's office, and I see all the kids that asked me to go smoke in there. They were all sitting there, and I see my one homie right at the end, right by the window, and I look at him, and he's just like, dead. Like, just fucking dead. And I, like, tap on the window, like, yo, yo, yo. And he looks up, he's like, I'll never forget it. His eyes were redder than the devil's dick. His eyes were straight up this. This was this was the color of his eyes. I thought he was having an allergic reaction and the ambulance was about to show up. Like his eyes were fucked up. I opened the door and I'm just like, yo, yo, are you okay? Like wh what's going on, man? His, his, his whole face was pale. He looked stone to the bone. And this was like, this was the dude that I could pack him a bowl in the bong, he would roast the entire thing and I could pack more on top of it and he would keep going. Like this dude had the tolerance of a gods. Iron lung level 99. And he was stony baloney. And I'm like, dude, what's going on? Are you all right? And he's just like, nah, dude, we all got caught. Like we were coming back and like the, uh, the security just surrounded us and we got caught, man. And as I was talking to him, the secretary lady was like, hey, get out of here, get, get out of here, go to class. What are you doing? Get out of here. And I'm just like, 
All right, I hope you have a good day, man. Sorry that happened to you. I used to be such an asshole to the teachers, dude. And at that point, I was pretty nervous for my friends because another one of my friends recently got caught up at school because he was coming back from smoking weed and they searched his backpack and found like this much resin, like a ball of resin at the bottom of his backpack and they put him on probation for six months. Ridiculous. They were really trying to crack down on it, trying to scare kids into not doing this kind of stuff. And they got caught on school property. Later that day, I was hanging out with them and he told me the entire story. So they went to this secret bench and they smoked the whole joint. Apparently it tasted really good, okay? You know, I missed out on that. But as soon as they started walking back through the football field, everybody got super paranoid. They were trying to figure out which door to go to. And they all decided on this one door, which was the wrong door. Because they were watching them on the cameras walk to the secret bench. And as they were walking back, they all went to this one door that was closest to where the, the entrance to the football field was. So they were all just waiting for him right there. You know, they, they walk in the door. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, get home to the office right now. And I believe that they all got in school suspension. Maybe maybe one of the people that had like a lighter or something, like whoever had like the one thing you needed to smoke, you know, like a lighter or something that he got out of school suspension. My buddy's parents couldn't have cared less. So it really wasn't a big deal to him. But yeah, I'm thankful they didn't have a bowl or anything because my buddy would have got arrested. Like they were not playing around. And there's a lesson to be learned in this video, okay? Good guy, PSA, X code A of the day. Don't smoke weed at school, especially in 2019. This was this was years ago. Now they'll just call the dude. They'll they'll call the fucking SWAT team on you, bro. They'll they'll have the helicopters come in and everything swoop you down. There's no playing around anymore. Okay, don't be busting carts down in the in the bathrooms. Don't be smoking weed at school. Don't be bringing weed to school. It's stupid as hell. Okay, just wait till you get home, man. It's like seven hours away that you can't smoke weed. Listen, it's fine. I couldn't tell you how many people that I went to high school with that got arrested and put on probation for years because they just were, they were idiots. Brought bowls to school, reeking up in the classroom. The teacher t tells somebody, the, the school resource officer shows up, you're beat. I have a bunch of other stories about high school. And I have three stories coming up, that, another trilogy, another trilogy of stories about this, this period of time. I think it was like October 2012 or something where a huge snowstorm just came through in the middle of fall and there, all the leaves were still on the trees. So the power lines went down, the whole state was out of power and I had to take shelter at my high school and a bunch of crazy shit happened. So if you, if you remember those stories, let me know in the comments and hopefully you're looking forward to those. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been caught up at school smoking or having weed or something like that. And a friendly reminder, if you're ever in that situation, don't put yourself in the situation. You're watching this video now, so don't do it. You know what I mean? But if you're ever in the situation where they want to search you at school and you have something, especially illegal like weed, just leave school. Literally just walk out, okay? Getting out of school suspension for leaving school it's a lot better than getting out of school suspension for having drugs at school and getting arrested and getting put on probation, okay? Obviously, it's not good for me to just straight up tell you to break the rules like that, but there's no need to become one with the legal system, one with the courtroom, okay? There's no need to get arrested and but put on probation for weed, okay? There's just no need. And hey, hey, listen, hey, listen. I think honestly, after after it's all said and done, I think even your parents would agree with me at that point, okay? There, there's the out of school suspension is much better than a drug charge on your record. Don't bring weed to school. Lesson of the day, don't smoke weed at school, okay? There's, there's plenty of other times to do that. Plenty of time out of school. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like on it if you did, okay? Right now, do it. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting me on Patreon. Here's the names of... Everybody that's pledging on screen right now, it's a lot of people. Thank you, bro. For a dollar or two a month, you can support the channel and get access to the secret unlisted videos that I've been making. Link in the description for more information. Also, huge thank you for 650,000 subscribers. That's cool, All right? That's dope. Maybe I should do another Q&A. Uh, I'll post a link in the description for the tweet where you guys can leave me questions. You should also follow me on Twitter, okay? Looking forward to answering your guys' questions. Ask me anything. And one more very important thing follow my cat on instagram it's right in the description it's on screen right now there's no way you can miss it at this point hopefully one day youtube does the swipe up thing so i can just tell you to swipe up because i know okay i know typing a username is just too much work it really is just too much work and, and whoa, whoa copying and pasting a url whoa whoa who am i to ask you to do something like that wow Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy. Peace.